Hey everyone, what's happening? Lex back today for another Brawl Stars video. Today I'm going to be giving you 10 tips on how you can push trophies effectively. Recently I passed over 10,000 trophies and along the way I picked up quite a few tips and today I want to share those with you. Now before we get into all these tips, I do want to say that there is no substitute for time. In Brawl Stars, the more time you can put into the game, obviously you're gonna give yourself a greater chance at pushing up trophies. Working with the time you have and being the most effective, that's another story. So, I want to give you some tips so that you can make the most of your time in Brawl Stars and you can push up trophies in the quickest way possible. So, let's start in with the most important tip that I can give you. I'm not gonna hold it till the end. That's what I would normally do. But I'm gonna give it to you straight up right here in the beginning, and that is, Play with a team. I cannot stress how important enough this is. This is the most important thing that you can do if you're trying to push trophies, and that is find a team and play with them. There is a lot to be said to team chemistry. If you're playing with a couple people that you know, that you play with a lot, you kind of know how they play. You just start realizing, all right, this is how they play, and this is how we all work together as a cohesive team. So I can't stress enough how important it is to play with a team. And taking that one step further, if you can, hop on Discord or some other voice chat app and talk with your team. You can actually get on voice chat and you guys can talk to each other while you're playing. Discord is a great way to do that. It's completely free. You can join in. There's voice chats. In fact, I have a Discord server that is, you can join for free right now. You can get into a voice chat room with two of your other friends and you guys can talk while you're playing. It will make your gameplay so much better. I, again, I know this is tip number 10. No particular order because this is the biggest tip. Play with a team. And while you're playing with your team, another thing to really remember is that Everybody messes up. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody loses. So if one of your teammates or yourself make a mistake, don't beat them down about it. You know, you can, you can, criticism is good. Offer constructive criticism like, hey, man, I noticed you did that over there. Next time, maybe it would be better if we did this. Or is there some way that I could help you that we could do that a little bit better? Rather than saying, dude, you just kicked it in our own goal. What kind of freaking idiot are you? Right? Not, not that I would ever do something like that on accident. Yeah, yeah, that actually happened last night. <laughs> I was playing with Ash and Noah and I meant to corner kick it and I just failed. It was it was getting high pressure right there and I I just failed. I just there's no other way to put it. I failed. But here's the good thing is that how did Ash and Noah respond? Check it out. They were like <laughs> they were just like, oof, oh fail you know just kind of I was laughing about it. I literally was laughing about it because again everyone messes up everybody makes mistakes no matter if you're the best player in the world or you're in the middle or to the bottom maybe the frequency of those mistakes change but everyone messes up so team chemistry is important and if you bash your teammates if you not beat them down that team chemistry is going to suffer and you're not going to play as well so work as a team work as a team Tip number nine would be to spread the love. What do I mean by that? Okay, so in Brawl Stars, your lower trophy brawlers, they actually gain trophies at a higher rate than you lose trophies. So for instance, when you're really low, you'll gain six trophies for a win and you will lose maybe only one or two trophies for a loss. So you could win one game and that would be the equivalent of three losses. And you're probably not going to lose three for every one that you win, especially if you pay attention to the rest of these tips. So it's good to play your lower trophy brawlers because it's easier to gain trophies on them. You can easily push up to 150, 200 trophies, even with randoms, which we'll get there. So make sure that if your brawlers are at a really low trophy count, get a hold of them and get them up quickly. Those are just really, really easy trophies. It, they're almost just giving you the trophies. It's like, here, here's some easy trophies, man. Just, just go here. You can just have them. You can just have them. So be sure to spread that love around to all your brawlers. Make sure that they're all getting trophies. It doesn't have to be completely equal, but you don't want to forget the guys that are lower in trophies. My next tip would be to know your brawlers. Every brawler has a strength. Every brawler has a weakness. Every brawler has certain game modes that they thrive on and some that they don't do so well on. It's really frustrating when you hop into a game like just here recently, I played a heist game. I was bull. I come in there. Who's on my teammate? A Piper. Okay. 
Here's a classic example of not knowing your brawlers. Piper is not good on heist. She's just not good on heist. That doesn't mean she cannot win. That doesn't mean that you can't make her win if you're good enough. However, if you want to push trophies, you want to give yourself every advantage available. Look at your brawlers and say, okay, this brawler is really great on this mode. I'm going to be sure to play them on that. Not, hey man, heist is open. I got Piper. Let's just roll in there with that. Yeah, I remember you. I remember you. My next tip would be no win to say win. But... When do I say when? If I don't know when I'm supposed to say when, when do I say when? Okay, so you're a little confused. Let me clarify. Tilting. What do you mean by tilting? If you don't know what tilting is, that means losing trophies. You're like on a losing streak. There comes a point in time when you get too tired or you get too frustrated that you're not going to play very well. So, no when to say, okay, that's enough. I'm going to stop playing right now. And I'm really bad about this. I can almost never stop playing unless I end on a win. It's some weird OCD thing I've got going on. So usually if I'm tilting, I'm like, okay, just let me win. Let me win. And then I'm out of here. So if you just chained off four straight losses and you're feeling really frustrated, that doesn't mean you can't stop and say, okay, guys, what are we doing wrong? We're obviously doing something that's not working. Is it our fault? Is it our team composition? Are we doing something stupid? Are we just getting playing against much better players? What's going on here? And see if you can fix it. There's plenty of times where I've absolutely turned it around and then went on huge winning streaks, but there's also been times where you just lose and lose and lose and lose. And next thing you know, you're down 60 trophies and you're like, what just happened? I should have stopped a long time ago. Know when that mark is for you. I don't know if that's five straight losses or, you know, seven out of eight losses. Whatever that mark is for you, you figure out that for yourself. But know when to say, okay, that's enough. I'm stopping playing right now. I'm taking a break. I'm frustrated. We'll come back and try again later. This next tip is a big one, and that is to know your team compositions. Know your team comps. Let me share this little graphic that I made with you right here. Now, of course, this graphic isn't every composition. This isn't the best of every composition either. However, these are some basic teams that you can use in these game modes and they will work well. I haven't included any legendaries or mythics in here because if you're just starting to try and push trophies, you probably don't have either one of those. If you do, congratulations. It will also depend on the maps. The maps play a huge role in what team compositions are the most viable for certain game modes, but Let's just take this a very generic stage and just say, in general, for gym grab, a great team is Poco, Nita, and Ricochet. On almost every gym grab map, that team composition will work. Looking at Heist, Bull Daryl Barley. That's great. Barley, you can swap in. If you have Crow, swap him in there. You could use Colt as well or Dynamite. You can roll into any Heist map and that combo will absolutely work. For Brawl Ball, El Primo, Colt, and Shelly. In Brawl Ball, it's important to remember that you need a wall breaker, you need a defensive stopper, and you need a ball carrier. El Primo is the ball carrier, Colt is the wall breaker, and Shelly is a defensive stopper who can, all three of those can actually break walls. So it's a great team combination. And all of these brawlers, they're very attainable. You'll be able to get them early on, and this combination will work on every single Brawl Ball map. Now, is it the best on every Brawl Ball map? No, there's probably other combinations that are slightly better, but you can take this combo into every Brawl Ball map and win effectively. Taking a look at Bounty, Piper, Brock, and Bo. That's a, just a classic combo for almost every Bounty map. Bo gives you that more tanky control, and Piper and Brock are the really high damage point high damage brawlers and that's almost always going to work now bow you could swap him out for a crow a spike a ricochet a colt there's lots of other combinations i tried to mix up the brawler so i didn't get too many repeats here so that you could see that there's lots of brawlers that work in all kinds of different modes but for bounty piper brock and bow is a great combo looking at duo showdown which i just made a video on the best duo showdown uh, team comps so if you haven't seen that be sure to go check that out i think there's a little thing that's going to pop up up there maybe that will that you can click on that and it'll take you straight to that video as well or you can watch it afterwards so poco and colt is a great combination for duo showdown it's probably not the best on like feast or famine but for the rest of the maps it works pretty well hey hey number five if this was a test you'd already pass because you're doing it right now and that is to watch youtube there is a wealth of great content creators on youtube guys such as kairos time you know my, my personal favorite uh, Coach Corey, Ray, Chicken, Ark. I mean, you know, let's not forget about myself here. I mean, you happen to be watching the best one. <laughs> I, even I can't say that with a straight face. 
Guys like myself who have been playing since day one of the soft launch. June 15th, 2017 is when I started playing this game, the day that it soft launched. And I've got a year's worth of experience that I'm right here, willing and ready to share with you all. So make use of that. A lot of my videos are just more entertainment videos. I just get on and I play, have fun, goof around. You can still watch the gameplay and be entertained and learn something from them. And of course, there's a lot of great guides as well that you can learn from. Kairos has a lot of them. Coach Corey does a lot of guides as well. So be sure to go check out those guys because it's really good stuff. Tip number four would be don't force it. Don't put a round peg into a square hole. What do I mean by that? You remember that Piper I was talking about playing heist? Yeah, don't be that guy. Seriously, just, just don't be that guy. If you just unlocked a brawler and the game modes that are available right now, you're looking at them like, well, this brawler doesn't even really work in that at all, so I'm just gonna play it anyways. Then no, you're being that guy again. Don't do that. Well, don't say, Piper, me and you, baby, heist. This is happening. I'm gonna make it happen. You're just going to waste your time because you could be more effectively using a different brawler to push in an available game mode and win a lot more. So remember to use your time effectively and don't try to make one brawler work even though you just, they're lower in trophies or you just got them. Next up on the list is the no carry zone. When you're playing in Brawl Stars, the matchmaking is really important. So whoever has the highest amount of trophies in your group when you queue up, that's what the matchmaking is based off of. So let's say you're at 150 trophies and you're playing with somebody who's at 400 trophies. Guess what? You're probably going to be playing a team that has mainly 400 level trophy brawlers. That's going to be really hard for you to win. Don't put yourself at a disadvantage right off the bat. So what I would suggest is play with the other people that are around your skill level and around your trophy level. Don't try to force yourself and go play those top players in the world because you're not going to win very often. Find some people that are like-minded, create a team, talk with them on Discord, and we're, we're combining some tips here, remember? And you'll have a much better chance of winning if you play with other people who have brawlers of similar level. Tip number two is, don't forget the little guy. No, I'm not talking about people that are really short. So if you're going for the most trophies, you want to upgrade your brawlers relatively equally. Now there's always gonna be that one or two brawlers that are just your favorite and you absolutely push more into them, and that's fine. However, you don't wanna have a bunch of brawlers that are level six, seven, eight, nine, maybe 10, and you've got you know, four of them that are like level one. Because those level one brawlers, you can only take them so far. Give yourself every advantage and level up those brawlers. The stats make a huge difference. If you're going to increase your health, your attack, and your super, it makes a big difference and you're gonna help not only yourself but your team win more, winning more, more trophies for you. And the last tip that I have for you guys today to effectively push trophies in Brawl Stars is just say no to randoms. Now it's okay every now and then if you're, you know, if you're in this trophy pushing mindset to just to hop into a game of randoms, just with randoms, just for fun and, you know, play some games out. But let's be honest, when you play with randoms, all these other things like team compositions and best brawlers for the maps and trophy levels, you, you have no control over any of that. And I'm not even saying that randoms are all bad. There's just so much that can go wrong when you play with randoms that it's a better idea to play with your team. Now, you don't always have people on to play with, so maybe in those cases, if you like Showdown, go play Showdown. At least you're in control of your own team because it's just you. It always seems like when you play with randoms, everybody's got that one story of that one random that did that really stupid thing, so... Just play with the team, it's gonna work much better. Number one and number 10 are intrinsically connected, so don't play with randoms. So that's 10 tips for you to push trophies in Brawl Stars in the most effective way. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it helps you rack up those trophies and shoot up those leaderboards. But that's gonna wrap it up for me today. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Lex out. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Well, now that we were talking, why don't you go check out some of those videos over there or subscribe. Just click that logo right above my head there. It's good stuff. I mean, or we can just sit here and hang out and talk too. I've got some coffee here. I don't know about you guys. What you drinking there? Coke? Yeah.